gonna hate, 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 hate. In the words of Tay Swift, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. I am a certified independent Optavia health coach. And today we're here to talk about getting rid of the haters or at least blocking them out. Because if you are on an Optavia 5-in-1 journey, or maybe you're thinking about being on an Optavia 5-in-1 journey, you have probably had some doubters and some haters in your ear, right? And I've been coaching with Optavia for three years, and I have clients tell me all the time, my husband said this is never going to work, or my mom said this is dumb and I should just eat real food and do this on my own the right way with diet and exercise. Or what about cousin Susie who says, well, my, my husband's brother's mom's sister lost her hair on Octavia or ugh, all that processed food couldn't possibly be healthy or, oh, you're going to try one more diet and fail at it, right? Like this is real Abby Unplugged here, but how many of you have heard someone in your life say something to the effect of this is never going to work. You couldn't do it. It's too hard and it's not possible. Well, I'm here to tell you it is possible. And I think especially this time of year, there are going to be haters because it's the holiday season, right? And everyone just wants to put their health outside until January 1. They don't want to worry about it and they want to eat, drink, and be merry, right? Which is totally fine. We're not judging the people that are choosing to eat, drink, and be merry, but that is not my choice. And I know if you're watching this video, it's probably not your choice either. I did a video um, a few days ago about navigating social so situations and holiday parties, and I will link that down in the description box below because that is a definite place where you might find some haters. But I wanted to just come on here today and encourage you that you have made a decision to get healthy. It means that you have killed off all other options. And whether you've decided that six months ago or you decided today or you're deciding already for January 1st, the fact of the matter is you've decided. And if you walk hand in hand and hip to hip with your coach on this Optavia journey and you use the fuelings and you employ the habits of health in the life book and you learn those healthy habits for life that we talk about and you get in healthy sleep and daily motion and water and all the things, I have never not seen this work for someone that has worked the program. You have to work it. That's your choice. But once you've decided, you are capable and you can do this. And the haters can take a, take a hike, right? Because sometimes your friends and family might be really insecure in themselves. Acquaintances, people on social media saying, why is, why is your health coach posting those pictures in a sports bra and spandex? Or why, why do we have to see all these pictures of people that were fat and now they're not? A lot of times, anyone that's going to give hate to you, it's because they're unconfident, they're unconfident, excuse me, in themselves. And they're a little jealous that you've decided. And they're a little jealous that you've taken the time to put your health first. And I hate to say it, but they might even kind of want to sabotage you, like not, not like actually cognizantly, but they might be like, oh, just... Take Christmas Day off, the whole day. Have some cinnamon rolls, eat the bonbons, drink the whiskey, whatever it might be. And that's fine if that's what you decide to do. But if that's what you've already decided not to do, and you're like, no, thank you, I'm going to pass on that. The people that aren't going to support you in that, that aren't going to root you on to be the best version of yourselves, you can set them aside for right now. Okay? It, it hurts. It does hurt when your friends and your family maybe doubt or say, why would you possibly choose to go on a health journey again during Christmas? Trust me, I've gotten plenty of that. But the thing is, is I'm showing up every day and I'm proving them wrong and you're gonna do the same thing. So don't let the haters have your ear, right? You stay laser focused on the person you wanna become and who you wanna be once this health journey comes to a close, which really the health journey never comes to a close because you're always of the mindset to get better. But once your weight loss portion of your journey comes to a close, you can look back and say to yourself, you know, I didn't listen when Aunt Susie told me to take the pie home. I told her, no, Aunt Susie, I don't need that. I didn't listen when my brother said, Ugh, my sister's trying the 15th thing in her life. Well, this is gonna work. So as you get ready next weekend to go and be surrounded by your friends and your family who most likely love and adore you, but might not be the most sensitive to a health journey, I want you to just think about what you're gonna say. And I want you to have that pre-decided in your mind so that you don't let it throw you off guard. So here's some simple verbiage you can do.
First, you have to decide what your plan is. I'll just tell you my plan um, and I'll tell you the three plans that you could probably do and then let you make your decision for yourself and the verbiage is gonna depend on that. So I personally am deciding that I'm going to take one meal off after on um, Christmas Eve, like after 5 p.m. And then I'm gonna take lunch off on Christmas day. The rest of that time, I'm gonna be eating my five fuelings, drinking my water, doing all the things I normally do. I had a conversation with my mom a couple of days ago and she was talking about what kind of soup they were gonna make before church on Christmas. And I said, mom, really whatever you want is fine. My kids will be okay with whatever. I'm personally not gonna eat soup before church. And that just struck her as strange. Like, why would you not eat soup? It's Christmas. I'm just choosing to have a feeling, mom. I'm gonna have my meal after dinner or after, after church. Um, so you can just say, hey, that doesn't fit within my goals right now. I'm trying really hard to just make this one choice and stay on program. Thanks for your support. Um, you might choose that you wanna take the day off and that's fine, totally your prerogative, no judgment here. And you can just say, hey mom, I'm actually gonna take Christmas day off. So on Christmas Eve or the day before, I'm still gonna be eating my fuelings and having my lean and green. Do I need to bring my own or can we adjust you know, what we're having to, to fit what I'm doing? Um, that's another thing you could say. Always pack your own stuff. I Like as much as your family loves you, I mean, mom might be over there pouring the brown sugar on the, well, carrots aren't on plan, but you know, buttering the broccoli or, or cheese, Velveeta-ing the broccoli, right? Um, so just have a plan in your mind and know what you're gonna say. And my over resounding verbiage to people is, hey, I'm on a health journey right now. I'm working on myself. And today I'm choosing not to have the pie. Or I'm, I'm on a health journey and I'm choosing that I'm gonna drink non-alcoholic beverages instead of alcoholic this Christmas. Thanks for your support in that. And just keep it super simple. Don't let them talk you out of anything that you've pre-decided because you are worth it. And I just want to offer you the encouragement today that you can do this. Let the haters hate. And six months from now, when you're looking and feeling even more amazing than you already do, they're going to say, hey, well, what was that that you were doing? Promise. It's going to be worth it.